So welcome to those of you who are tuning in with me. I'm Ginger. I am not a meditation, meditation teacher. For those of you who have not uh, joined one of these sessions, I am a meditator. I've been doing this practice now for about four years. Um, and so now I do this. I lead meditations for my coworkers and colleagues, as well as going around and talking about it and, and presenting information about the benefits of mindful meditation. So what I do is every Tuesday, I try to do a different style of meditation. Um, and I understand from some of the feedback that I get that people seem to be more lean towards the breath meditations. So I've decided that I'll kind of, you know, kind of lean in that direction as well as using the loving kindness meditations. Um, and self-compassion, because I feel like right now with the climate and just the way that things are in the world right now is that we really need to be showing ourselves self-compassion more these days as, as well as just loving kindness for everyone around us and for those who are out there in the healthcare field fighting a pandemic, loving kindness, right, and, and showing gratitude. So tonight I'm gonna do a meditation um, that's by Sharon Salzberg. I've mentioned Sharon Salzberg before. Um, so this practice is called Welcoming Gratitude. It's from her book called Real Change. And it opens a doorway into your heart to gratitude and receiving happiness. So before I start it, I actually just want to read a piece because someone had said to me in the last um, session that we did about how their mind was racing and they couldn't kind of shut off the thought. So I wanted to read what Sharon Salisbury said about um, when she started doing loving kindness meditations and what her experience was. So the question was, when I practice loving kindness meditation, I can't tell whether it's working. I feel like nothing is happening. Shouldn't I be feeling something? And she says, the first time that I ever did loving kindness practice was without a teacher. I was on a self retreat and I thought it was a perfect opportunity. I knew that it was done in successive stages and I began with a week of sending myself loving kindness. All day long, I would go around the retreat building, building, sitting in my room, sitting in the hall saying, may I be happy, may I be peaceful, may I be liberated, and I felt absolutely nothing. At the end of the week, something happened to someone in the community and I quite unexpectedly had to leave the retreat. Then I felt doubly bad. Not only did nothing happen, but I never even got beyond myself, which was really selfish. I was running around in the flurry of having to leave. I dropped a jar of something, which shattered into a thousand pieces. The first thought that came up was, you are really a klutz, but I love you. And I thought, oh, wow, look at that. All those hours where I was just dry and mechanical and I felt like nothing was happening, it was happening. It just took a while for me to sense the flowering of that and it was so spontaneous that it was quite wonderful. So not to struggle, to try to make something happen. Let it happen. Let your mind rest in the phrases and let the phrases be meaningful to you and it will happen. So that's according to Sharon Salzberg who's done a lot of Buddhist studies and, and the like. So. When you're starting out as a meditator, you just have to let it be, right? You just have to let go. That's the name of the game. So with that, let's get started on this meditation. So I will set our timer for about 20 minutes. And so I invite you to sit up tall with your back straight, having your feet flat on the floor, having your hands and your arms resting in a position that's comfortable for you for the period of time that we're here. Just gently close your eyes if that's comfortable for you. Or you can simply have a downward gaze in front of you or on the floor or on the wall. And just relax here. Just be present. Just be here and now. It's letting go of whatever it was that you were doing before you got here. Just letting go of your busy life and turning inward. It's 
just allowing you just to scan your scan your body feel the muscles in your face relaxing the brow between the eyebrows just letting the jaw soften letting the shoulders fall away from the ears just really allowing the surface on which you're sitting to fully support you And just as we begin, remember to have no expectations, no judgments, just simple observation. Just taking notice of the breath now. Taking notice of the rise and fall of the chest. Expansion of the belly on the in breath, deflation on the exhale. Just breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, just letting go on the exhale. And now I'd like you to bring to mind a pleasurable experience that you've had recently. One that carries positive emotions such as happiness, joy, comfort, contentment, or gratitude. It's something comfort could be something as simple as a cup of coffee that you enjoy, preparing yourself or someone you love a meal. Something that brings you joy, that lifts you up. And if you can't think of a positive experience, just being aware of giving yourself the gift of time to do this practice right now. And I'll take a moment to cherish whatever image comes to mind with the recollection of the pleasurable experience. Just seeing what it feels like to sit with this recollection. Where in the body do you feel the sensation arising? Perhaps it's in the heart space. It's feeling warmth in your body. What are those feelings? What are those sensations that you notice? You think of something that brings you joy.
And how do they change? Focus your attention on the part of the body where those sensations are the strongest. Stay with the awareness of your bodily sensations and your relationship to them. Opening up to them and accepting them. And now notice what emotions come up as you bring this experience to mind. What emotions? You may feel moments of excitement moments of hope, moments of fear, moments of wanting more. Just watch these emotions rise and pass away. All of these states are changing and shifting. Perhaps you feel some uneasiness about letting yourself feel too good because you fear bad luck might follow. There's that emotion of fear. Perhaps you feel some guilt about not deserving to feel this happiness. In such moments, practice inviting in the feeling of joy or delight and allowing yourself to make space for them. Acknowledge and fully experience such emotions. Accept these emotions.
Notice what thoughts will be present as you bring to mind the positive. Do you have a sense of being less confined or less stuck in habits? Or perhaps you find yourself falling back into thoughts about what went wrong in your day. What disappointed you? These thoughts can be more comfortable to us because they are so familiar. If so, just take note of this. Do you tell yourself, I don't deserve this pleasure until I give up my bad habits, or I must find a way to make this last forever. Try to become aware of such add-on thoughts and see if you can let them go and simply be with the feeling of the moment. For the remainder of the time that we're in this meditation, I'd like you to just focus on your breath. Noticing the breath, feeling it on the nostrils as it enters the nostril. Chest rising on the in-breath, falling on the out-breath. Feeling the belly rise and fall. Just breathing in, knowing that you're breathing in. Breathe out, knowing that you're breathing out. If you find that you've gotten lost in thoughts, that's okay. You're just going to gently bring your attention back without judgment. Back to the breath.
meditation practice is noticing. Each time you noticed you've got lost in thought, that's your meditation practice. Being with the breath ever so gently. as though you were cradling it. As we come close to the end of this meditation, I'd just like you to take a few deep breaths here. And just to feel gratitude. Let's take this moment just to feel gratitude for this practice. Gratitude for giving yourself the time, for making the time to sit in silence and connect with others in like minded community. Just getting feeling back in your fingers and toes, waking up the body. Bring your awareness back into the room and into the space that you're in. And when you're ready, open your eyes. And I invite you to check in with yourself. How are you feeling now after having sat in this meditation? Feedback on the meditation itself. It was restful. Very restful. But I was all over the map. <laughs> and that's okay. I couldn't concentrate. I, I've been at the dentist today and my mouth still, nah. But it was uh -huh. restful. But, so you got a little, you know, you got a little relaxation, a little rest. Yeah, I yeah. It. Like I said, sometimes it takes takes you know it can take even even longer time when you sit i find to even you know it'll take me like 20 minutes just to really sort of settle in and then it depends on what the focal point is too you know kind of depends on if you're into this meditation or you know i think it that kind of depends too 
But like I said, it's to notice your thoughts. It's to notice where they go. That's the observation. That's what we observe. We see where our thoughts go. Awesome. Built the real change book. Yeah, she's got a few books. Um, someone's asked, uh, mentioning about the real change book by Sharon Salzberg. Yeah, she's got um, she's got a few of them out there. Um, uh, real love and real happiness, as well as real change, mindfulness to heal ourselves and the world, which just came out in September of 2020. Hmm. All about the loving kindness. And so with that, folks, if anyone else has any comments, any feedback, if not, I will leave you with another breathing exercise, a four, seven, eight. I don't know if I've brought up the 478, the box breathing. You're welcome, Michelle. You're welcome. 478 breathing. So 478 breathing is what we call box breathing. It's something that you can do to kind of, if you're in a moment of, you know, where you're feeling flustered, where you're feeling kind of anxious. So you do a four count. And so you breathe in four. So breathe in one, two, three, four. Hold seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and exhale eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the count. So it's a breathe in for four, a hold for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And so you would continue to go through those four, seven, eight. And because I find because of the counting and because of the, you're welcome. You're welcome guys. I find that the counting, when you're counting and paying attention to the counting of the breath, you automatically are going to bring yourself down out of kind of that, the spiral that you might be in at that moment. It works, it's worked really well for me. So give that one a try. So thank you folks. Thank you for joining me.